Today I'm back again with another video. Today is actually Saturday, so today I wanted to show you guys a new hair that I've been waiting for from Amazon. So we're going to work on the, the hair before I dive into the video. Welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so if you wanted to look for something simple, something easy, quick, and just basic, already styled, already let me show you this wig that I got from Amazon and show you how you apply it and how you do your hair. Okay, so come on and let me show you this hair and I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair. Okay, so the wig that I have got is this wig right here. Okay, this is only for you. Look, she's already sexy, I already printed on the, on the box, look at that. I really love the box and, and everything. The color is more, is a calm color. So I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open this box together so you guys can see what actually comes in the box. You guys are definitely, oh, sorry. If, if you see a little moving in the camera, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna also put like a picture of how the wig is actually gonna look. It's gonna be somewhere on this side or this side in the video. So you check that in the video, you guys. So it should be somewhere around here um, of how the hair look and what to expect in the box itself. And I'm gonna open the box with you guys. So the box has a little opening right here. So I'm gonna open it up. And this is how it will look when you first get it. You have a little brush, which is so cute. A little bristle brush. You can brush the wig itself. Okay. All right. The hair comes in a little hair net. We're going to take it out a little bit. How cute. Oh, man, it's like you have your whole, like you get your wig and you got everything. And I think the only thing that they don't include is like how most of the wigs that you buy from different places, they'll have like eyelashes and stuff like that. But this, they, this is on point. They got a brush, they got the wig, and they got a set of earrings or whatnot. And I did see online that they give you either or, so it's like, Either or different is they have like different earrings. So this is the earring that came. Um, this one set of earrings that came with it. And a wig cap. This is the wig cap that they have. It's the netted wig cap right here. This, yeah. Oh, this is nice. All right. This is how it looks, and then in the back, it just shows you in the back, it gives you like little steps of ways you can wear it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that it gives you a little okay. Oh, sorry, you guys. All right, here's another wig cap here that you can use, and it comes with two in the pack as well, which is really nice. So it has two. Can pick either or we got this card in here just saying thank you for selecting us i guess if you want to contact them and amazon um the email and so forth it has it here let's see all the happiness and all the warmness of the good luck around the around forever uh oh okay you guys look at this all right so for those of you who don't know how to take care of the hair or clean the hair it also comes with the instructions of how you can clean the hair it has a little a little direction right here it shows you how to clean the hair and so forth and in the bag warm tips care um, instruction and how to store the hair it also has that here so if you're wondering how to take care of the hair the information is right there and 
you have your own little bag. So this bag, that's pretty much it. This bag right here is just for you to store the hair once you finish using it for the day. And it comes with these two strings on the side to pull it together. So that's really nice that they gave you, they give you a, a bag to put that in. So I'm gonna put the bag in here and go ahead and put the rest of the stuff back into here. And we'll come back to this box and the hair. We're gonna look at the hair, you guys. All right, so this is the hair. Hmm. All right, so let's get this mat off of here so we can look at it together. Now, I love curls. I'm all about curls. Indeed, I am. Look at that. Excuse me, you guys. Sorry. Look at that, you guys. Ooh. You guys, I'm loving this. this. This is like a doobie. You know, like when you, you know, when you go to a hair salon, you ask them, you know, want to go get a roller set, get your ends clipped, get a roller set, wrap, silk wrap, or after you, after they roller set it, you know, a nice silk wrap or doobie wrap, whatever. And, you know, you come out there like this, girl. Mm. Be right. And get your little hoop earrings. Yes. Oh, I'm loving this. And you can recurl this too, girl. I had to do my little research. I said, look, oh, you can, you can what? You can recurl it? Okay. I'm down for that. So, let's see how the inside look. Because, you know, most of us, we like, I like to smell my hair. I'm sorry. I like to smell my hair. And I like to touch my hair. I like to get a feel for it, you know? You can feel it. it smells good. And so here's the inside. So in the inside, it do have the straps here, the adjustable straps. You can adjust the hair right here. The adjustable straps right here. Okay. Um, I do, this is the first wig that I can say, <laughs> y'all won't believe it. It do not have combs. So. You don't have any comb. Usually when you get most wigs, you'll see a comb somewhere right up in here. In the front, you'll see that it have maybe some combs right here, right here, or within, within the back. I'm so pleased that they don't have that. Oh my gosh. But if you do want to um, insert any... Um, combs within it i will have to save that video for another time so i can show you guys how to actually put combs within your wigs um especially if you want it but i like it without the combs because it feels so much better also we're going to use a wig gripper which holds the hair in place and when you don't have any combs in the hair, it's always good to have your wig cap and you have that wig cap with every wig you wear period. But hair that does not have the comb, the wig gripper is definitely good. I use the wig gripper and I use the cap. So I use the cap, the hair cap, the wig cap I mean, and then I use the wig gripper, which can go around. They have the one that is already, you just pull it over like a band. Then you have the one that comes with the, um, uh, oh, I can't even talk today. Comes with the Velcro that you can Velcro it, okay? So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get prepared so we can get this wig on. Yes. Now, it looks shiny like this, but we're gonna we're gonna fix it so it won't look as that shiny as it is now. So you want it to look as real as possible. So definitely we'll show you guys how to do that. Mmm, y'all, I love this, damn. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, enough of that. So we're gonna put this back here in the box and we're gonna get this hair right. And then we'll put this wig on. Okay, so 
okay? We're gonna do this face. And we'll see how that is. All right? So, I'm gonna sit down now with you guys, show you guys how I prep my hair before we put this wig on. And I'm gonna show you the wig gripper that I have along with putting the wig on when I get there. Okay, so let's get set up. You're gonna need either a rat tail comb or a butterfly clip um, of your choice. And also, if you have any type of drape or anything, if you need it or you don't, most people do it with it or without it to drape yourself before you do it, but that's how I'll do it. Any type of grease that is your choice that you grease your hair or your hair with, you definitely will need that to moisturize your hair as well and braid your hair. So that's what I'm getting ready to get prepped and let's get rolling. Come on. braids in the world but you want to braid it up the way you want it and then you pick and choose which one of these wigs caps you want to use I normally will use this wig cap that I'll normally get a wig cap like this but I'm not going to use this one today because I already had one already here. Then again, this one is a little darker. It comes with two, so. So, how about this? I have one that is already used. Use. So, I have a lot of these around, laying around, so. Um, I do prefer this one. But I do also like I, I do also like the fact that they have this wig cap. So this one looked like the one that you could use when you go to sleep if you decide you want to keep the wig on. You could definitely use this. Oh, I want to show y'all the wig gripper. So. Let me go grab that. Okay, you guys. So this wig gripper, it looks like this. And some of them come with the wigs already. And it comes in a little pack like this at your local beauty store. You just got to find one that has it. And this one hasn't been used. I can't find the one that I have used before. So this is a brand new one right here. So... And you can see it has the Velcro. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and put this wig cap on. Let me 
Especially with the ass, how this look. My lips is dry, you guys. I'm gonna put some on my lips. Feel good. I feel like I got a little something going on over there. You know what I mean? All right. So, you want to get your stocking cap. Put your stocking cap on your head. Whatever color you're, of your choice. I usually put it on like this. You put it, I put it on all the way. And then, usually I just bring it up like this with the to get it exactly where I want it. Once it's laying where I want it. Okay. Then I take the wig ripper. When you put it on, you can put it on like this and put it to the back or you can turn it to the side. And this saves your edges. Indeed it do. And I usually turn it to the side like this. Put it on there like this. It don't need to be extremely tight on your head. It's just there to, to hold the wig in place. That way you, you know, some people use barbie pins and whatever they use for their hair to keep their wigs down. This is, so you wouldn't have to use that. I'm gonna put that on like that. Okay. All right. I need this brush. Look at this brush. Now, I don't really use the brush that much on wigs, but I just might use it. Mm -hmm. It's a little, little cute brush. I like this. Get to this hair. Ooh, you guys. I gotta cut that off. So, let me get that off. Adjust the straps in the back. You can put it on whatever you want to put it on that will be comfortable for you. And that's what I'm am getting ready to do. Which I am so happy, you guys, that this wig does not come with combs in it. I'm so glad it don't have the combs. All right. All right, so now, put this wig on, you guys. definitely give this 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 a 10 this hair is a 10 definitely now if you want to tone down the shininess of this hair 
you can sprinkle a little bit of powder on your hair and just uh, rub it through really, really good. Not a lot, because you don't want it to be have an ashy, ashy, like super ashy, whitish look. You want to just sprinkle a little bit on there, go through it a little bit, and that will, it will um, bring down that shininess of the hair. Definitely, I will be doing that. But I'm say I definitely want to save this wig for a different event before I do that. Cause I got some things coming up. So I'm definitely going to package this hair back up, you guys, and save it for then. And yeah. But you guys, I'm loving this hair. As you can see, I did move it around a little bit. But I do like the curls in my face. Maybe eventually I'll cut it, but not right now. But I am loving the hair, you guys. And if you like what you see and you would like to see more of my content, you guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share this video, you guys. Give your girl a thumb up and let me know what you think, you guys. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. And I will see each and every one of you guys tomorrow. Bye.